Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of y'all's busy schedule. Stop in and see what it is I'm up to. It is Wednesday, the 11th of August, 2021. It is about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Going on, it's like right at 10 of 3. It is 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Humidity is. See, I turned it off. <laughs> uh, humidity is 66%. It's raining off and on. 32 degrees Celsius. So, here we go. On the road again. Out to pick up the Jeep Rats. I've got a fluctuating schedule this year because the one, the 10 year old is on safety patrol. So the days that he is not with his dad, I have to pick the kids up later. Uh, I get the two little guys, I can get them at, at like 10 of 3. Of course, I sit out there in line for a half hour because I do not like sitting in the traffic line and creeping through traffic. That just, that just gets my gall. I can't do that. I'd rather get there early and sit in place. And that's pretty much what I do. But now, like today, I can't do that. So I need to get there more at the end of the end of the pickup time, the end of the line, I guess. Now yesterday, <laughs> first day of school, my god, what a what a what a fiasco. All over town apparently. Um, the school I'm I the school the boys go to. Uh, the line wrapped all the way out, almost to where I get off at the interstate. Like halfway, halfway through the parking lot, or halfway down the parking lot of the shopping center, right at the foot of the interstate. So that's a long line. There had to be several hundred cars in that line. Luckily, I, was, I wasn't stuck in it. I was going the opposite way. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then we get up on the interstate. I'm taking them all the way home. And there's a tie-up due to construction on the interstate. Traffic was stopped. Creeping forward. So I got off there. And, of course, the, the little guys are in the back going, Where are we going? We're living the way home. Where are we going? Uh, but I just took a, a, a took a side road over to a different road that would get me to the same place. Get me get me to the bridge. Instead of taking uh, 295, I went over and got on Southside Extension and. Uh, them home, started taking them home that way. Well, then I got to the end of, I got across the bridge, I got over onto New Berlin Road, if, you, if you've been along with the ride going to my daughter's house, that long ride, long slow ride, you get behind, you get behind some truck or other, and uh, got almost to where the daughter's house, where, where we turn off onto the next road. Uh, we were just passing the cow field, and traffic was at a dead stop. What? <laughs> Seriously? Come on, people. So, it crept forward, crept forward, crept forward. I got I got about, about five car lengths in ten minutes. I said, to heck with this. And I turned around, 
And the little guys are in the back going, where are we going, Pop? Why'd you turn around? <laughs> like, I'll take you back to school. No! Uh, yeah, look at all this traffic. We can't go home now, so you'll go home and or we'll take you back to school and you spend the night there and they're in the back freaking out. Well, of course, I've gone backtracking to make a make a turn and go in a different way, which I did. And we got all the way down to almost to the proper road and traffic stopped dead. It took me a little while to creep forward enough to get off the main road into a parking lot. The boys had to relieve themselves. I found a spot to do that. Um, there's a school on that road that I had to turn on to. Sure enough, first day of school problems. And it'll probably be there for a couple of days. Um, It had to be, the traffic had to be a mile long. Single lane, they're only letting in two or three cars at a time, and it's coming from both directions. And they're only letting in two or three cars at a time. So, that was nuts. And then we went into uh, Goodwill. And I let the boys shop around, which is, <laughs> I forgot what that was like. They didn't have a big selection of toys, but like they were, they were picking up all kinds of baby toys. Can I have this? No. Little blow up toys? No. So I finally decided on a couple of trucks that I was good with. And by that time, I was able to get out on the road and get to my home. <laughs> but what would normally have taken me about a half an hour, I should have been at their house no later than 3.30. And it was quarter to five before I got there. Yeah, that was nuts. Now, granted, some of that was because I was doing, I got you know, frustrated and turned around and backtracked and um, did my shortcuts or whatever. And I burned a quarter tank of fuel, which is crazy. That's almost $20. Um, so we'll be trying something else today. I really need to get the rat buggy fixed. I need to find that, find that part. It's got to be somewhere in the van. I was thinking, <laughs> if I can't find it, I may as well just buy another one. It cost me so much in gas. <clears throat> then I remembered that it's a hundred dollars for the two, for two pieces. So yeah, maybe not. <laughs> That's a big chunk of change in the middle of the month. So anyway, um, and even if I did get it, there's no telling. When, when my son would be able to get to it to get it actually put in. But, again, it is what it is. You deal with it as you have to deal with it. Um, so anyway, I got to my, finally got to the daughter's house. My son-in-law said, well, you need to go, if, if instead of, you know, sitting in that traffic, you, you continue on straight on that road and go up to the next, the next road and make a right and come in around the back of their property. So, leaving yesterday, I tried doing that, and I put my cameras up and, well, camera, should have put both of them up. Because when I went to publish it, it wasn't there. I figured I'd 
you know, show a totally different route. Uh, of course, oh man, asphalt. I'm doing asphalt over you know, across the street. But yeah, I, I, I mean, I made, I missed the turn. The first turn that I need to make, I had to turn around and go back. The rest of it was fairly easy. But I actually missed the next two turns that I could have taken. And I ended up way, way, way out of my way. But it was a nice ride and would have been a nice video. And when I got done, I pulled over and went to publish it and it would not register on the phone. It won't even play on the phone. It's just a bunch of. It just comes up as a, as a static. So I'm hoping that this front view camera works today. And I wasn't even thinking. I left the. I left the silicone safety shield on that camera so hopefully it didn't cover the speaker or the microphone ah. oh I went to get gas top this thing up and it was like 40, 47 dollars for a half a tank. <sighs> and I was trying to get two videos to upload. I didn't want to go home. That's why I ended up going to Taco Bell. I had a couple of different choices, of course, of what to do. We even got stuff in the back. I could have made myself up something. Sometimes you just don't feel like doing it. You know? I mean, it was 90 degrees out, close enough to. And then you add in the, the heat index. Who feel like cooking? Certainly not me. I don't feel like cooking in the house makes the house hot. I don't feel like cooking in the van, that's for sure. And I'm not cooking outside. I guess I could, depending on if I find a nice shady spot. Maybe one of my alternative spots down at the river. I miss my river beach place aggravates me that they shut that down. Still can't find out why. I mean, I've gone, I've tried, tried researching it and whatever, but tried getting the news people interested. Nothing. I think they use the, they use COVID to do it. because people tended to gather there. But it wasn't like we were, you know, sitting in each other's laps. <clears throat> you usually have you know, one group, one family group here, and 50 feet away would be another family group. It's not like we were congregating and sitting on each other's laps, like I said. Anyway. Uh. We are about at the end of the journey for today. Right about here, where these cars are coming out, is where that traffic was sitting yesterday. So we've at least avoided that. 
but I'm going to go ahead and end it right here. So let me know what you think, folks. Give me a thumbs down or a thumbs up. Leave me a comment wherever it is y'all leave comments on your internet access device of choice. If you'd like to share me around your social media, that'd be fantastic. If your loved ones are nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. If they're not, give them a call. Hit them up on Facebook. Let them think about them. Let them know you love them. We ain't promised tomorrow, people. We ain't promised our next breath. Oh, man. Look at this line. I am not going to sit here. I'm going to go find me a nice shady spot to chill out for 10 or 15 minutes. I know just the spot. Not as much shade here as I had anticipated, but it will do. Well, there we go, folks. Loans are nearby. Give them a kiss and a hug. If you're not, give them a call. Hit them up on Facebook. Let them know you think about them. Let them know you love them. We promise tomorrow. We promise our next breath. So I see you all again. I hope you have a fantastic day. Swatchy, huh? Ah. Bye bye.